Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode is called The Life Earned, another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. The show is rated TVPG, or at least the episode is. So will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, Cassius talks about the fairy tale of Quake, Destroyer of Worlds great scene and yeah threatens that if she doesn't go along with him he will hurt Gemma specifically you know yeah the her face and you know again there are a number of times where you know people who keep slaves will threaten you know if, if they don't think the slave themselves will fear enough you know they'll threaten someone they care about and let's see. Yeah, with um, Grill says that Mac is going to be his enforcer, and we again get this theme of people keep telling Mac, you know, you look so so intimidating, you should be, and he, you know, he's running away from from that. You know, he doesn't want people to think of him as the, you know, this violent person based on how, you know, it is essentially, p part of it is racial profiling. The a, a lot of people think that if you're not white, and, and to some extent, especially if you're African American or Middle Eastern, that sort of thing, you know, one of those ethnicities you are inherently more dangerous, scarier than if you are white, which, you know, if you look at who's committing domestic terror, you know, who's committing terrorist acts in America, you should fear, you know, conservative white men instead. But that's, you know, that's how they control you. They make people think that it's, you know, yeah, if you, if you get enough people scared of African Americans, then, you know, it's much harder for African Americans to, to get, you know, civil rights. And, yeah, we see that, okay, so his Ben, I think, I gotta admit, I am really struggling to keep up with all the names. That's not a thing on the on the show. I'm just that's that's me, my old age. Just letting you know. That's that's why with some of these I'm struggling. Um, but yeah, Ben can hear people's thoughts, and I appreciate that. You know, we get the detail. You know, Daisy says, "Did you just read my mind without permission? Because that's not cool." You know, one of at least one of the X Men movies had a similar line about a telepath. I really appreciate that we've gotten to a point where we can appreciate that because for a while in comic books it was just like they can read minds, isn't that cool? And it's like it's a huge invasion of privacy. You know, I'm I'm really glad that we've gotten to a point where we can appreciate. You know, obviously it's, it's impossible in the real world to read someone's mind. But if it were possible, it would be unethical to do it without permission. You know, not under all circumstances, but without permission, you know, unless it's like, you know, gonna save lives or something. And, you know, Ben does explain, I can't control, you know, I'll, I just hear it. That's how it works. And... Yeah, so they now that they know there's something important on level 35, you know, they're like, maybe we can use that. And and I appreciate that it, yeah, it turns out to be a baby. And it's, you know, but they do get, you know, it, it, if they just found the baby and that was it, then it wouldn't really progress the plot. But it also is where May discovers that Deke betrayed Daisy. So... But, but you know, again, we're seeing this. It's very, very difficult for our agents to make progress in this season. 
at least at this point in the in the season. And I think this is the last it's not the last season, but it's the last full season. After this, all of them are let's see if I can find it. Yeah, all of them. Both of them are half seasons, 13 episodes each. And it is also, you know, it's very early in the season, but I do feel like they're struggling more than they did at this point in earlier seasons to, to get even really basic stuff, you know. So it's it's raising the stakes very nicely. But yeah, um, you know, it is really devastating to find out, you know, a baby is, you know, being used, or babies are being used to... Yeah, um, as as like collat collateral leverage is the word I'm looking for. Let's see, yeah, it's it's just it's been too long since I watched Battlefield Earth. You know, if I had watched that recently, obviously I remember remember the word leverage. They say it enough times. I'm just kidding. There is no such thing as. It hasn't been long enough since I watched Battlefield Earth. But yes, I did watch that. I watched it twice. Once vanilla, and then I needed to watch it with the riff tracks because I was I felt like I was just it it was I I needed someone else to to tell me, yeah, it really is as bad. You know, I watched the nostalgia critic review, that wasn't enough. I think I read some critic review. I, I probably, yeah, Roger Ebert's review because he was quite, you know, appropriately brutal with it. But no, it, it took the riff track for me to be, yeah. Uh, moving on, the, yeah, um, Cassius takes his revenge on Basha and you know because of you know they're she's too important all he can do is deny her the option to bid on Daisy but that is also something she really hates you know because she insisted on not going to, to see Cassius when they were dining she insists on staying on her own ship so yeah let's see and yeah, there's more talk about the, the prophecy, and you have the thing about, you know, maybe the prophecy wouldn't be such a mystery if you hadn't killed everyone who knew anything about it. Life is full of regret. You know, that's why he regrets it, not that it was wrong to kill people for, you know. And, and you know, as much as I rag on religion, I will admit there are fascist states that have fought against religion. Some of them used religion, but some of them did actually suppress at least certain faiths not necessarily all religion but then i'm not sure it is all religion you know, the religion of the oppressed minorities is suppressed to to control them and yeah daisy and ben discuss slavery and and yeah he has basically just accepted you know he doesn't think there's anything they can do he, you know, is is settling, and and there is an there there is precedence for that. The you know one of the things slave slavers do is try to break the spirit. Let's see, and yeah, we see Deke very clearly lie to the agents, claiming he was working with Daisy rather than betraying her and you know obviously we're not surprised that he's lying to them obviously he's not gonna come out and say so Daisy totally betrayed her that's on me who has two thumbs and screwed over Daisy this guy but still it's really you know it makes us hate him even more to see you know he doesn't even have the decency to at least say you know I know you're not gonna agree with me on this, but I think it was the right thing to do. And... Yeah. Uh, Mac and Elena talk about, you know, the, the... 
the whole how how she dealt with Zev. You know, he still does not think that these kinds of things are okay. And see, yeah, and and you know, she points out, I you know, you grew up in the suburb. I grew up in a city just like this, running on fear, which, yeah, you know, it is completely credible that they react to the this situation completely different ways. And let's see, yeah, uh, very nicely done that you know, Cassius brings in Ben as the the lie detector. Unfortunately for Cassius, Ben's lie detector does not detect his own BS. And, you know, it does show he has not fully given up. There is still some of his spirit left. And, yeah, it is legitimately quite clever, you know, Daisy has to recount the, the story, and then afterwards, so does Gemma, and she didn't hear what Daisy said. So just, yeah, very, very nicely done. And I appreciate Daisy pointing out how creepy it is that, you know, I forget if she used that exact word, but she said, you know, there's some, for some reason, Gemma can't hear me right now. And let's see. And and I will say I did not expect that Gemma would be able to. But yeah, you know, at this point she has gotten pretty good at lying. She just you know this is a situation where she needs to be fed the information, and Ben obliges. And, right, I, I didn't mention earlier, but, you know, I, I talked about how great it was that we saw um, Sinara use the the little murder balls, her roller balls, to, to kill, you know, just, like, one person, because now we know that it, you know, there is that threat. And, you know, I already mentioned that, but the thing I don't think I d did mention is now, every time, you know, all that's necessary is for her to roll the balls in in her hand, and, you know, the the implied threat is is there. And it is also very clever that it's not, for example, a gun or one of those axes that at least some of the Kree are very fond of. Because that could be used against her. But if you grab those bolts, like, I'm, I'm almost certain it's not the, you know, it's not just that you touch those balls and you can move stuff, m move them. It's her. She can move those balls. So, you know, yeah, there's nothing. If somebody else picked them up, like, okay, you got, like, the equivalent of a pool ball. That's not the same you know, that's not enough of a weapon, and she could probably just rip them right out of your hand. You know, with the with her mind powers. And I appreciate that, that Ben was careful, you know, it's that thing of the Kree want to know what powers these Inhumans have, but they don't have any way to make sure that the 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 in, individual and humans have shown all their powers they just hope that they will in you know out of fear or out of hope of their family getting more of a reward or something ben kept it hidden nobody you know basically he and daisy are and i guess jamma probably by now are maybe the only characters who know that he he has that power and yeah that makes him very effective and we get the detail that you know th this is as close as he's ever been to Cassius and he perceived great shame Cassius hates this place and once he's able to leave which he will be soon if he is able to use Daisy he's gonna destroy the whole place with everybody every family still on board so just yeah he he gets more and more despicable the more we learn about him. Very nicely done. And it... I know it's not just me. 
there is like a vibe of the the he really does remind me of of Brett Dalton, you know, who the, the yeah, a major villain in seasons 1 1 through 3, really. Yeah. You know, and he appeared in season 4, although there he was a good guy. But at first I really did think that you know, I I was like, is that supposed to be you know, Dalton and yeah, I'm not seeing anything because I really did figure that maybe originally he was supposed to yeah originally Brett Dalton was supposed to play it and they ended up changing their minds on that but yeah, maybe not I again did not googled it just now. Did not find any sources that suggested. If if you have a source, please let me know because I really, or maybe it's just that he like looked at Brett Dalton's performance because there was yeah. And let's see, uh, right, right. That's yeah. Um, Elena is trying to get Gunner to you know, go along with, uh, you know, and Mac joins in and, you know, he, he's basically, he's hoping that he can talk Gunner into it. He's, he's trying to de-escalate technically. He's, or he's trying to, to get it over with, essentially. And he brings up, you know, we could steal your package. And, yeah, you know, at first, like, when we don't know what it is, you know, Gunner, yeah, we don't quite know what to make of his reaction right away. But then once, you know, yeah, you see the, the you know, the, the box he was carrying that they knocked down is full of kid stuff, you know, and... Yeah, you know, Gunner says, you're sick, you don't deserve to have a kid, which, you know, he doesn't know Mac, we know Mac, we know that is not, you know, keep in mind, this is, like, you know, if you watch, when you watch this originally, you know, it was months and months, but for Mac, let's see, what did they, oh, right, right, at this point, they've been on the station for, a little what what did they say a month you know hasn't been that long all things considered you know so yeah he yeah he goes off on on gunner understandably which you know gunner points out you know you're proving my point and yeah you know basically the the cree decide who has kids, you know, the Deke says something, you know, oh, they, we think they put something in the food, you know. So, uh, yeah, the villains are the eugenicists, you know, which kind of wish that had also been the case in Inhumans, the, the show itself. Now, let's see, and, and, you know, yeah, again, that is one way to control people, control who gets to have kids, and, yeah, you know, like, there is a, not everybody feels it, I, I don't feel it, but a lot of people, you know, do feel a drive towards having kids, raising kids, and the, the, what's the word, the, um, Right, I feel like just, I should clarify, I told my, you know, the, the women I've dated, I told them up front, you know, if you want kids, I'm not the guy for you. I, I, I would not date someone without telling them that up front. But, but yeah, um, you know, it's a way to control people to, to say, you know, if you behave, maybe you get to have a, a kid when, you know, in, in the real world, that should not, you know, there shouldn't be someone telling you, you can't have a kid unless you do what I say. 
and see, yeah, uh, it is, yeah, Deke is caught. You know, there's, the, May, you know, went into the computer, found Daisy's file, and it says she was captured yesterday. She, you know, she, Deke did not work with her this morning. And within not too much more screen time, Deke has been hit in the face by, like, three of the, the, you know, Daisy slapped him an episode or two ago, May hits him in the face here, not long after, you know, Coulson hits him, and, and then he's like, you people have got to stop doing that. And, let's see, yeah, so cool, Sinara fighting May, just, yeah, and, and, yeah, I get if, if you're fast enough, I suppose you could tech, you know, hypothetically dodge the the balls. You know, at the end, of, like they're not flying as fast as bullets. You know, which we know because we can see them even when it's not slow mo. And yeah, I uh, quite appreciate. You know, it, yeah, as usual, they find a cool new and you know. Uh, um, individual for me to fight. Sometimes it's a really cool individual, sometimes it's a small group, and because of numbers it's really cool, but they keep doing a really great job of, of that. Letting Ming-Na Wen just go ballistic. Love it. Let's see, and... You know, not X versus Sever ballistic, substantially better than that terrible movie. I feel bad for Lucy Lou. Sometimes she just ends up in really bad movies. Anyway, um, yeah, the the um, and we get Deke, you know, telling us why he's so hard. And, you know, his mother was taken away, and he heard the voice of his father on the recording. You know, the, the yeah, the message for Virgil. So just yeah, you completely. He legitimately did think that it was, you know, he might not have thought it was best for Daisy, but he did think that him getting Daisy caught was the way, I, th I think he was, you know, was the, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few kind of thing. And, yeah, he was thinking, I'll sacrifice Daisy, and the rest of us will you know, see the, the, the elders, and, you know, at the same time, we can understand why, you know, Coulson does not want to work with him, and, and we see how devastated Deke is, like, we've seen him frustrated, but this is the first time we've seen him emotionally devastated, you know, other times it was like, I cannot believe how difficult your people are making it, and here it's like, you can't take this away from me, you know, and Coulson even throws his own words back in his face. I think it's just safer if you're not in the mix. And... Let's see... Yeah, and, you know, you have the thing, you know, it's, it's so hard to not lose yourself in the moment, never let it go, and, uh, let's see, I wrote H, why did I write, oh, right, hope, you know, they, they bring up hope again, and, and, yeah, you know, just really devastating, and this thing, of like, again, not being a father, but I can imagine feeling like you're a bad father is probably one of, you know, be, the idea of, you know, maybe you're a bad parent, one of the worst things for you know many good parents to to feel i suppose you know bad parents probably don't care let's see and yeah uh then we have the yeah and you know elena tries to to reassure him you know, you are a good father, you're a great man, you're a real human being. And Grill saying, 
Thanks, Mac. You fit right in. This is, you know, just... That is 100% not what he wants to hear. But, you know, Grill doesn't know that and honestly probably doesn't care. You know, he's just like, this is working out great for me. And, yeah, we get the post credit scene and... With, you know, with, with there not being dialogue, you know, there's there's maybe 20 seconds there. Well, there's not really dialogue, and we're not really seeing anything happen. It's just kind of people, you know, someone moving from one place to another. I get to really appreciate how oppressive the score for this season is. Just, like, really fits this vibe of, you know, yeah, no, no freedom. And let's see. Yeah. Fitz walks in dressed as, you know, the bounty hunter that Leia poses as. And, well, not quite the same outfit, but this, you know, similar, like, it's got to be a gambit, right? It's got to be that he thinks that this will put them in a better situation to you know, for, for him to be able to, to free Daisy, which was, of course, what Leia was, was doing. Um, yeah. The, the MDB trivia points out that, you know, Grill solicits Mac to be his new enforcer, and, and there's the theme, you know, yeah, um, in, in season two, episode 12, who you really are, Colson says, have you seen yourself? You're a little bit of a beast all the time. And in this episode, Grill tells Mac, have you looked in a mirror? You're a beast. You know, again, 100% not what he wants to hear. He wasn't happy when Colson said it either. And let's see. I like that, yeah, some, someone entered the, the entire post credit scene dialogue. I appreciate that, you know, they, they specify that the mask Fitz removes is a space mask. I'm not saying it's inaccurate, it just, I, yeah, that's, let's see, and I think, yeah, I, I like when, you know, there's the thing, yeah, why would you lie about Daisy unless you sold her out? Okay, well, this is probably the part where I should explain. No, this is the part where May breaks your face. You explaining? Kind of secondary. And... Let's see. Right, I like that Cassie is, you know, May I call you Daisy? It's a lot, le lot less formal than Destroyer Worlds. Try to walk casual. If you can see me, then that's me walking casual. <laughs> 